Such a heavy burden falls on the Executor's shoulders. Archon Elric? Zeke? Identity access level. Elric, access level 5. Zeke, access level under review. Review complete. Access level 4. The authorizer candidate. Access level under review. Review complete. Access level to be determined. Access granted. Proceed to High Cross Headquarters. Algorithm arc. Are all these passageways part of the algorithm arc? There are other arcs? How's Gestos now? <laughs> what? What have you done to my sister? Answer us. Is this how you're supposed to keep Shirley safe? Please, calm down. Hycros has just taken her into custody for now. I assure you of her safety. My word is my bond. I sincerely hope so. All right, let's get straight to the point then. Executor, it's time to call you by your new title. The Authorizer Candidate. Uh, authorizer I found the title strange earlier. The Authorizer Candidate. Yes, you've passed the screening. Your ability to adapt the system properties of the Gestos network and establish a cybernetic link with the network is not common. At least for now, considering various factors such as past experience, system compatibility, and personal traits, we believe you are the best candidate for this task. Since this mission is essentially a system modification, you have, in fact, already obtained the ability to manage Gesthos as the Authorizer. Therefore, you have been given the title of Authorizer, even though you are currently still a candidate. This doesn't sound like a simple position. Naturally. What do I need to do? Currently, a large number of encoded computer viruses have appeared in the foundational layer of the Gesthos network. This has caused the system to fail in its duty as the control terminal for the Tower of Fantasy's Omnium Reactors. Due to system anomalies, most external intervention methods have failed. Therefore, the only way is to upload your consciousness. This way, you can enter the physical world constructed by the system from the inside, identify the properties of the virus, and carry out system repairs. An unknown encoded computer virus? 
That's right. This type of encoded virus is unprecedented. The logs indicate that the timing of the malfunctions aligns with when Nemesis was inputting data into Gesthos through Tempos. We can conclude that it was Nemesis who invaded Gesthos and implanted the virus in the system. Perhaps Nemesis was a pawn that the Sage placed in Hygros. The Sage hopes to invade Gesthos through Nemesis, thereby controlling the Omnium Reactor in the Tower of Fantasy and executing the Retrospect Project. Nemesis had been lurking all along, waiting for the right moment to initiate the attack. Surprisingly, Hycros's previous inspections of her body failed to detect any danger, leading to a lapse in vigilance. So, Nemesis had been lurking inside Shirley all this time? That's why Hycros needs to take Nemesis into custody, to prevent further incidents. The worst case scenario is this. The Shirley you've known all this while is just a disguise Nemesis put on by seizing Shirley's memories and personality. And the real Shirley might have been gone a long time ago. Shirley? This can't... It just can't be. I hope that that is not the case. The process of holding those responsible for the oversight accountable has already begun. However, the most important thing right now is to focus on fixing the damage that has already been done. We still don't know what Shirley did to the network. To this day, no one has been able to figure out why Shirley lost consciousness, and it's highly likely that it's related to the network's anomaly. Ultimately, saving Shirley and the investigation into the cause of the network anomaly for its restoration, these two objectives are essentially the same. In any case, on behalf of the Algorithm Arc, I sincerely thank you for participating in this operation. I will do my utmost to assist you in your task. It's time to head to the Consciousness Upload Center. I've prepared the Authorizer's Terminal for you there. After the terminal verifies and activates your biometric features, it will assist you in your actions within the network, fully realizing your power as a Hycros Authorizer. Once all this is done, you can use the uploading device in the Consciousness Upload Center to go into the network's world. Looks like it's done. Hmm. Even though as the Authorizer on rotation, I do have the ability to enter the network's world. I must ensure your mission support from the outside, control the overall situation, handle the current chaos in Hycros, and minimize the damage from the system outage. What kind of world is it? Your goal is to reach the foundational layer where you can edit system functions. But first, you'll arrive at a virtual Ida world that recreates the eve of the Cataclysm. Wait, uh, hold on. The world of Ida on the eve of the Cataclysm? Yes, we're very fortunate. This virtual Ida world is one of the few functions of the network that's still operational. Because it has a data link to the foundational layer, it preserves the possibility for us to enter the layer through the system. You can think of this as a necessary path to the foundational layer. Let's call it the surface layer for now. You need to find the data singularity in the surface layer. I'll assist you in locating it. These data anomalies are like flaws or loopholes in the surface layer. By interacting with the terminal, you can open a passage to the foundational layer. The preparations for consciousness uploading are complete. You can enter the network's world whenever you're ready. Considering your background, I'll set your transmission target to the Astro region in Asperia. I'll also attempt to deploy a system backdoor near you. Once you're in, your first objective is to find the system backdoor. The terminal will guide you to its location. Got it. We can set off as soon as you're ready. 
Before we do, feel free to ask me if you have any questions. Hmm. <clears throat> As to why such a world would be activated, I actually haven't figured out a reason. For now, I can only assume it's due to a system anomaly. The face this world presents, or the people and events, are no different from the Ida of the past. To some extent, you can understand it as returning to the past Ida, decades ago. Since it's a virtual world, your actions inside won't have any impact on the present. The so-called time paradox in science fiction doesn't exist here, so you don't need to hold any reservations. However, it's a shame that most of the historical details before the Cataclysm were not preserved due to the disaster itself. Even here in Hycros, there are hardly any records. Otherwise, it could provide more intelligence for your mission within. More information about this era can only be slowly unearthed once you're in. We can set off as soon as you're ready. Before we do- Ah, that's right. You need a legitimate and convenient identity to help you move around in the network's world. I've extracted data from the Asperia data sector, specifically from a researcher in Kylo, which is the fourth district of Hycros. Once you enter the network's world, you'll directly replace the objective existence of this researcher within it. We can set off as soon as you're ready. Before we do, due to the current system anomaly, I can only let you enter the network system in the form of an intrusion. However, this carries a high risk of being detected by the system firewall. If the firewall detects you, it will treat you as a computer virus and attack. Do we have a way to handle this? This is why it's necessary to set up a system backdoor. It can help you bypass the firewall's surveillance and activate more terminal functions. However, this requires you to activate it within the network. You need to find the system backdoor as soon as possible, activate the backdoor through the terminal, and avoid the firewall's detection. Ah, I see. We can set off as soon as you're ready. Before we do... Zeke, please take care of Shirley. How I wish I could take your place. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I won't lose my way. During the time Shirley was away, I did a lot of thinking. You two siblings took me in when I lost my memory, giving me a path to move forward. Afterward, Shirley and I journeyed together. We traveled side by side, place after place. Before I knew it, Shirley had become an incredibly important person to me. All right. Time to go.
Thank <laughs> you.